leave it. Uh, like you just said, every day is different uh, when it comes to Showtime. You know, we're following CDC guidance, whatever is best. The, keep it on. the community and our service members safe. And overall, just being able to have a good time. Having a little nice, have one of the Blue Angels flying in, I know, having them as part of this. Absolutely, they put on a great ship. What, um, what is going to be So we're actually going to have the F-22 Raptor here, and it's going to be a hometown pilot. Cabo is going to be coming back uh, for a 2022 show. He was supposed to be here 2020, so we're happy to get him back again. Uh, we got a great um, heritage flight lined up and some other civilian performers, um, and then happened to have a P-51 Mustang, just a plethora of other really awesome aircraft to show this. Morgan, tell us a little bit about uh, what makes this air show special as in 75. That's right, so this year, 75th anniversary of the Air Force, and actually McDill's been chosen to be the benchmark air show for AMC. So we're really hoping to drive home just the heritage of the Air Force in general and really uh, showcase what the Air Force is doing. Good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you can say it and spell your name, please. All right. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Caitlin Forster, K-A-T-L-I-N-F-O-R-S-T-E-R, and I'm Blue Angel number eight, the events coordinator. Very good. So you just flew from Vero Beach, did I hear that right? How long does that flight take? Uh, it was about 25 minutes flight, so very easy uh, flight, just pretty much took off and then started getting into the landing environment here at McDill. Yeah, had you ever flown in here before? No, this is my first trip here to McDill Air Force Base, and we're so excited for the upcoming air show. When you fly uh, over Tampa Bay, what kind, you know, what, what does it feel like? What does it look like for you? Uh, it was a little bit cloudy today, so we didn't see too much of the bay. Uh, we uh, came out of the clouds and was just trying to find the airfield, so once we did that, focused on uh, safely landing. But I'm sure come uh, March, it'll be much sunnier, and uh, we'll get to see the whole bay when we're coming into land. So, obviously the Blue Angels have been doing this for a long time. Do you try and top it every year, and if so, what's what can we expect for 2022? Uh, well, we have pretty much kind of the same air show, but we're just focused on the safety of that. But um, this is our 76th show season, and we now have two platforms that we debuted last year, so it'll be the first time for um, the McDill, Tampa Bay area to see the F-18 Super Hornets overhead along with the C-130J Super Hercules. So uh, the show will definitely be different from years past for the local area and we're so excited to show off uh, these two aircraft. What are some of the things that uh, you know, the show consists of? What do we get to see? So every show will open up with uh, the C-130J Super Hercules, affectionately known as Fat Albert. Uh, they'll do about a 10 minute show and then showing off the capabilities of the Super Hercules and then we'll intro the Super Hornets and the six jets will take off. They'll kind of alternate diamond and solo maneuvers and then finish up with our historic Delta formation. What does it mean to you to be a part of the group? I'm always honored and humbled by this experience. Uh, being selected in 2020 and then getting to complete the 2021 season with the team was you know, just a one of a kind adventure. The teamwork is just unparalleled and I could imagine uh, representing, or I'm just so honored to represent this great organization. Yep, I'm Lieutenant Griffin Stangle, G-R-I-F-F-I-N-S-T-A-N-G-E-L, Blue Angel number seven, narrator and advanced pilot for the Blue Angels. Well, what's it mean to have these shows going full? I know you, you performed last year, but you know, Airfest didn't happen, and I'm sure there, there's been a lot of cancellations over the last couple years, so to have these big crowds back and, and kind of get back to normal and stuff like that. Well, it's always nice to be able to go out and meet the individuals at the air show. It's one of my favorite parts. And being able to execute a full show season is what we're really looking forward to. And going out to different cities across the country and meeting all those people and hoping to inspire a few of them is what I look forward to some of the, uh, at most of the air shows. Were you inspired by the Blue Angels when you were Absolutely. here? Absolutely. What, what's your memory of that? Uh, earliest memory was I took a trip down to Pensacola around middle school time, and I saw them perform at a practice at uh, NAS Pensacola when I was there at the museum visiting with some family friends. But then again, I saw him, I uh, had been flying the Super Hornet for five years, and I saw him in September of 2019 at a air show. And that uh, inspired me to really put my best foot forward and then uh, decided to put my name in for applicant uh, for the team. And so when you see the faces of people down on the ground, you know, watching it, what do you, uh, what do you notice? What, what do you get out of that? It's an incredible amount of energy that you just feed off the crowd, and it is so nice to meet so many people who are so happy and so inspired by seeing 
you know, six ordinary pilots go do incredible things, and that's what I hope we can show. That it's, you know, we're just everyday people doing some amazing things with some incredible training and incredible flying.